Okay then, so uh, to do this first part, we're asked to work out what y is, complete this value here, work out what y is when x is 9 pi over 8. So dead easy, just make sure though your calculator's in radians mode. So when you put x is 9 pi upon 8 divided by 3, take the cosine and times by 3, you should find that you get 1.14 805 and a zero there but we've got to give this to five decimal places so that's what you should get okay well that's part a and in the next part part b we're asked to work out using the trapezium rule an approximate area for r okay so to use the trapezium rule, just as a reminder, okay, just in case you've forgotten, here it is here. We split this up into strips of equal width, and the area is approximately the width of a strip, then divided by two, half the width of a strip, all multiplied by the first height, plus twice the sum of the middle heights, plus the last height. If you're unfamiliar with this idea, just go on my website and look under tutorials for using the trapezium rule. So when it comes to these strips then, where are these strips? Well, the first strip is going to be here at 3 pi upon 8. So that will be the first part of the strip. You'll have a strip coming up through here like this, okay? Then you've got another strip at 3 pi upon 4. Well, if we can squeeze it in there, 3 pi upon 4. There'll be one up through there then. There'll be another one in here at 9 pi over 8. Just squeeze that one in there. They're not exactly equal width in my diagram here, but obviously they were meant to be. Okay, so we should be able to say what this area then of R is roughly. So we can say area R normally it would be equal to the integral then of y with respect to x going from 0 to 3 pi upon 2. So you know we can work that out then through this method the trapezium rule we can say it's approximately half the width of a strip so put a half here the width of a strip then is 3 pi over 8 so 3 pi over 8 and then we multiply that by the first height. Well, the first height, when x is naught, that go, it comes out as 3, as you can see here. So it would be 3 plus twice the sum of the middle heights. So the first height here of the middle heights, that's that one, then we get that one, and then we get that one. The first one of the middle heights is this one here. 2.77164. So 2.77164. Then we add it to the next height, 2.12132, and then this height here, 1.14805. Close the bracket off, and then we add the last height, this one here, which is zero, but I'm just going to put it in there as a token that I've used the formula. Well, all you need to do now is just go on your calculator and work that out. And so the area R is roughly equal to 8.884043 and so on. And we've got to give this to three decimal places. So that's going to be 8.884 to three decimal places, 3DP. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then of applying the trapezium rule then to this particular curve.